Hey guys, welcome back to Gear Facts. I do like reviewing these old keyboards from the early 90s, maybe even late 80s. This is the PSR 500 from Yamaha, and look at all the buttons. I think they designed this deliberately to look impressive, and I'm sure it did impress at the time. What I like to try to do though, is to glean whatever I can out of these keyboards that is usable or respectable in today's keyboard market. Let's see what it has to offer. Okay, so obviously it starts us off with our basic keyboard sound. Respectable sound and the keys feel pretty good. I have found that if you move the pitch bend wheel here and set your accompaniment volume, sorry, I did it wrong there. Okay, you can go up to 12 steps of pitch shifting. It's a very grainy pitch shift, but of course some people like that. By pressing both together, that'll give me my default setting of two, as in just one whole step up or down. In the familiar pitch bend configuration. So that's a good tweakable feature right there. As with portable keyboards then and now too, I've got several modes for controlling the rhythms and accompaniments. You can play your own chords or just use a single finger to control the rhythm. So I don't know what we have selected at the moment, but I'm just gonna start it. The drums sound pretty good. Another good thing I notice about rhythms too, and I know that this list is too small to read from where you guys are now, but it starts you off with all the ones that people actually want to hear, all the rock and the dance sort of accompaniments. Really, things like bossa nova and bluegrass should be right at the end. I think the majority of us would agree with that. So if I select 05 and choose house for our rhythm style, I'm sure we'll hear something very cheesy. Let's start with the introduction. Yeah, so I think the sound quality is actually surprisingly high. Clearly the rhythms are showing their age, they all sound really dated, but bear in mind that this keyboard has a lot of MIDI capabilities, so you can certainly arrange the sounds in a way that might be a bit more contemporary and creative. Note here that selecting styles and voices both have a full key set, and clearly that's only designed that way to make the keyboard look overall more elaborate and more complex than what it really is. Right over on the other side, we've got this feature called multi-pad, which is something that Yamaha sort of had on many models around about the era of this type of keyboard. And they are basically just quick spot tunes and sound effects that can be used in a kind of a narrative way in a larger performance, like this, for example. Very high quality sound. And of course, something that would be impossible to play on your own right there and then. Way over on the other side of the keyboard, there's a bank changer switch, and each bank has four separate sounds. And you can actually make these synchronized to the rhythm too. So that's quite fun to play with. This keyboard must just predate general MIDI because it only offers standard MIDI, which many regard as a superior system because it's much more controllable and you can target it in a much more customized way. But generally with standard MIDI keyboards, you get 100 sounds. This one's no exception. And the sounds are taken from a lot of the earlier Yamaha PSR and PSS models. <laughs> quite usable, and you've got a plus minus key to just run through your sounds quickly as well. Something at random. Uh, 
let's switch that pitch bend back to a full octave because that's more fun synth lead sound starting at 73 and some bass sounds that's a violin sound. Okay I've just switched back to a very basic synth sound now. Just to show you this section the effects if you can call them that it's kind of like a cross between an effects and an arpeggiator section but anyway I'll give you an idea. First of all reverb depth. The reverb depth can be taken until you are getting nothing but wet reverb. Then you've got some very basic controls like volume, octave and pan which are completely self-explanatory. And you also have a dual voice function which will be a second layered voice that you can choose. In this case it's layered on a string sound there but you can choose whatever you like. Just the same way you choose your main voice. Then you can choose Auto Harmony. Once that's switched on, you have to use Type here to choose one of the six settings written there. I've got to be honest with you guys, I can't figure out how to make this work on the PSR 500, but I've heard it before on other models and I can tell you now, it's very disappointing. So mixing is as simple as that. This is one feature I found quite amusing. They have the nerve to say a digital signal processor here, but really it's just two types of reverb, room and hall. So anyway, I'll give you a listen to those. So really that should say reverb. I don't think it's really earned the title of digital signal processor. So there are the main features of the PSR 500 and as I implied before it looks a lot more complicated and impressive than it really is. I will say it does have some nice sounds and the rhythms sound really good if you can cope with the sounds of the time I suppose or the rhythm styles or maybe that's exactly what you're after I don't know but anyway if you get one of these be prepared to be steeped in 90s lush sounds and rhythms that the majority of us find pretty unpalatable these days. If you are enthusiastic about vintage MIDI though, this keyboard does have a heck of a lot to offer. There are many MIDI functions which I didn't show you. 
The pitch bend wheel is very touchy and over responsive as we saw. The keys themselves are very nice and tidy though, they feel really good. Looking at the back, it's a really fat tall back panel that even makes the Yamaha logo look small. And over here we have our little socket array, MIDI in and out, a damper pedal socket and of course headphones. There is a battery option too, you will need six D-sized batteries. <laughs> And here's the 90s drum kit sound, so get your sampler ready. Beautiful. Here are some links to some other things that might interest you guys. Thanks for liking or subscribing to Gear Facts. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please leave me a comment if you like, because I'd love to discuss this old keyboard. And if you've got any secrets that it might hold, I'd be very interested to hear them. I will upload another video featuring the demo tracks from the keyboard too. And I look forward to seeing you next time on Gear Facts. That's the PSR 500 Yamaha.